it's hard to hear as a mum because you don't want you don't want any of your children ever to hurt or feel scared or afraid and you can't imagine how he felt in that situation but all he thought about was others so I do take comfort in that and but it is very hard I do struggle and I do find it hard to try to come to terms with it but I'm getting there with the help of the army and the welfare officers and does a day like this this award make it any easier at all to have lost your son it doesn't make it easier, but it does make you feel that it wasn't for nothing. I know the army are making a difference out there in Afghanistan, so. And James believed in his job. So it's, I don't know, I just, we just miss him so much. But this award, it, I don't think it's just, it's not just for James, it's for, for everybody that fights, everybody who loses a son or a daughter over there. And he, it, on our hometown, they're just so proud of him everybody's so proud and it's just like this is something that it's once in a lifetime thing yeah it means a lot to everyone doesn't everybody, it everybody yeah especially we're getting messages from the guys who are in afghan with him and just i think it, they were just so happy as well i think it's like a little bit of acceptance from them as well to, to say they're part of it and they they were there very close and they knew him very well and it means just as much to them and yeah, no. all, everyone's very happy at the moment yeah. and when you listen to that citation when you hear what he did, way beyond the call of duty, does part of you think, why? Why did you do that? Why did you just stay behind the wall? Yeah, I mean, I, I always used to say to him, on every time I used to say on a phone call, and I used to say, keep your head down, you're six foot eight, and don't do anything, you know. But, but that is the sort of thing he would do. Yeah. It's not a... I mean, it's a testament uh, to the yeah. army. It's a testament yeah. to the army as well, and the training that he went through, and uh, the fact that he, he didn't he didn't think to not do it, and he put his job first, and the guys he was with first. I think it's a testament to the guy he was, and the regiment he was in, and the job he was doing.